here's the first blaze that you spot for the Essex County Green Belt. So we, I came from there all the way to the other end of the field, sort of at the northern end of the Julia Bird Reservation. And I followed the riverside along that polo field because I knew this trail would be here. I have a map, you see. And today's mission is to capture the more unique qualities of the Ipswich River. Quite a lot of bird activity. Not too turbid either, but it's got some trout. Today I wanted to mostly 
stick with the bed edge of the room. So yeah, after a bunch of these trails meet, you can follow the terrace edge. Looks like there's some old stone structure thing, maybe a fire pit. <laughs> there's an impressive tree carcass. Some improvised edging. That's one of the side trails heading over towards the railroad track line. Look at these old tree remnants. Follow the hip switch a little further. There's quite a few mosquitoes, as one might expect. This is probably really wonderful in the fall. Although it's perfectly outstanding now. There's another little sort of makeshift barricade where you have a kind of wash going on. Lots of old snags in the river. That's probably creates lots of holding area for trout. It's funny that this is part of an equestrian path as well. Horses do use it quite a bit, and yet it's hilarious that they do significantly less trail damage than bicycles, which are much lighter. <laughs> this is like a hemlock forest. shady sides of things. Mm -hmm. 
here we have some even more pronounced shoring. <laughs> it's sort of well done, it seems to work. You just need something for the rest. The bank damage. It's in the equestrian and hiker's interest. waters run along Reading where I grew up. We're about at the place. Company with this pleasant little river. 